Hi Stampers, this is Travis. Welcome to an extra video. So I know today's Thursday and you're thinking, what is she doing here today? Um, I am excited because today is the first day of our mini catalog and our celebration catalog. So I thought, um, I need to show you a technique that, um, that I'm excited about. And I don't know how many people really use these. And um, I just want to show you how simple it is. So all that being said, I am um, going to do a lot of talking today. I'm going to show you some samples of cards that I've been making, uh, talk about my card kit, and um, probably just want to see me stamp. So um, I'm going to get started. Okay, so today the Celebration Catalog is live and I'm excited. So we can open it. We can look at all the cool product inside. So what is Celebration? It's the free promotion where you can get items based on your purchases for free. So it's kind of confusing, but... There's $50 items and there's $100 items. It used to only be $50 items, right, in the old days. But now they've introduced some bigger items, and I'm happy to say that some of those are my favorites. Um, and if you have your mini catalog, I'm not going to go through the whole catalog, but <clears throat> we have the Adorable Owls. Okay, so that's a stamp set, a $50 one. And then we also have Thanks a Bunch, and that one's a $50 item. And they're not skimpy sets, right? They're, they're decent, uh, big sets. And then we have this Dainty Flowers um, 12 by 12 paper pack. So this is um, a $50 item, which coordinates, uh, incidentally, with our Dainty Delight uh, uh, bundle. Okay. Then we also have this one, Day at the Farm paper. This one coordinates also with uh, a bundle that's in the um, mini catalog, which I don't have. I'm not a farm girl, but. And then Sending Support. Love this set. This is a $50 item. Okay, so this one has 11 stamps in it. And then we get into uh, some of the bigger items. Oh, I'll take that back. Here's another item. This one is the Favored Flowers. That's hard to say. Uh, favored Flowers Designer Series Paper, and this is a $50 item. Okay, so there's another 12 by 12 pack. I guess 12 by 12, right? Yes. And then there's In the Country. So another, see, I love this, that they're all kind of different. They're very different technique -y looking. Um, this one is In the Country. And then we get into the, 50, the $100 items, and that's Beautifully Happy, which I love and I have been using like crazy. And also the Dandy Designs, and this is kind of like a tongue twister for me for some reason. Dandy Designs, the big pack of paper. That's why this is a $100 item, because you get 48 sheets. And then we have the Hostess set. So if you host a party, you can get the Scenic Garden Hostess set for free. And I think that's a $350 party. You can get that one for free. Okay? We also have the... Mini Cut and Emboss. So if you sign up to be a demonstrator, you can get this for free. So this is a $60, um, a $60 retail, and it's in the balmy, <clears throat> I take that back. This is in the new boho blue color, which is gonna be a new in color coming when the new mini ca catalog, come, when the new annual catalog comes out. Golly, making a lot of mistakes today. At any rate, that's celebration and lots of items. No dies, no punches. And I think the reason for that is because, um, you know, there can be back or, or there can be unavailability. And they don't want to, they just don't want to go there. So now some items will, will sell out. So if there's something in here that you're dying to get, you think, ooh, that paper or whatever, probably need to do it sooner rather than later. This promotion goes till February 28th. This is the only celebration promotion we're going to have this year. We're not going to have one in the summer. It's just going to be this one. Okay. Now, the mini catalog also went live today, and this is huge. This mini, this mini catalog is huge. These are um, designed to um, actually be seasonal, but um, they're in addition to the annual catalog. So a lot of people are like, why do you have such big mini catalogs now? Well, it's because they are introducing 
new products that are seasonal, that are um, fresh and new. Some people have looked at the annual catalog a lot. They've purchased out of it, and now they're ready to try some new products. So what I'm going to use today, and if you'll turn to page 62 of your mini catalog, it's these Loveliest Layers Decorative Masks. And there's five in here for $10.50. These are amazing. And I'm going to make a card with these today. So a lot of people are like, I can't make a one-layer card. Oh, yes, you can if you have these masks. They are amazing. So along with a lot of other product in here, just, ugh, it's goggle, it just boggles my mind because I love it all. And I have so much already. I, um... I'm going to be using uh, over the next four months because this catalog's in effect until the end of April. So I don't want to just inundate you with everything I have because you'll you'll be seeing it and um, you'll want it <laughs> just like I do. Okay, so this is what's going to make our card today. I'm going to use a half a sheet of soft succulent and then a piece of basic black and a piece of white. And that's going to make our card today along with the masks. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how easy these are to use. Okay, so I'm going to start with my white card stock. So the masks are, um, I've used these and I hope I, I probably should have cleaned them off. Um, let me see if I can kind of clean them off. Do a little cheater clean there. Um, so you get four masks and, hold on a second. You get the other two. They're over here. Okay, so you get those, and I am going to clean them off a little bit because I see other ink on there, and it's not making me happy. Okay, so I'm going to clean these off because I used them on another card, which I'm going to show you in a second. Just clean off this, this ink. You can run these under the faucet. Um, but if you don't want to, you can just clean them off with your, like a, a, even a, you know, a wet one or something like that. Okay. All right. Good enough. Okay. So here we go. We have the flowers. These play together. And then we have the leaves. And these play together. So what I have here, and you're asking me, probably thinking, what is all this glitter? This is actually the washi tape that retired from the mini from the holiday mini catalog, and I'm using it up, so that's why that's there. Okay, so I have my piece of uh, cardstock. This is five by three and three-fourths, and I'm going to start with the bigger mask, and I'm going to decide which side I want to use. So these have to line up, right? Ultimately, so you're going to look at these dots and you're going to line, make sure that you have it going the right way. If you have it going this way, it's not going to work. You need to have them going the right way. Okay, so I'm going to start with this. And I'm going to just lay it right. It's perfect size. This is five by three and three fourths also. So I'm just going to lay this over the top like that. I'm going to use a blending brush, and I'm going to use my lightest pink. So I've chosen Polished Pink and Mary Merlot. And I'm going to use my lighter color first. Sometimes that's confusing. People think I should they should start with the darker color, but that's not true. So I'm going to use my dark pink blending brush. And I'm going to... Just start blending. And what's cool about these is, is you can even shade with these. If you want a little bit darker, like right there, you know, you can add a little more ink there. Or you can just go lightly. You can use a sponge on this too. You don't have to have the blending brushes. You can just use a sponge if you want. If you have the blending brushes, use them. You also have the mini blending brushes now, right? So... If you have those, those work well also. Okay, so I'm done with that color. Now I'm going to lift this up. And you're going to see sort of an abstract flower. Okay, then I'm going to add this one. 
And now I'm going to, again, look at those dots and I'm going to line this one up. I'm gonna put my little glitter, my little glitter washi tape on top after I line up the dots. Okay, looking good. Now I'm gonna get out that Mary Merlot and I'm just going to use that ink next and you're gonna see how cool it is. So now I'm using my red, um, my red, red uh, bleh, blending brush. And I'm just gonna bring some nice rich color for our accent. And if you want to start out with a bigger piece of cardstock, you can certainly do that and trim it down. Okay, so it looks good. Now I'm gonna lift this up. Now you're gonna see how that accented the flower, made it look more like a real flower. Okay, now I'm gonna do the leaves. Clean off my brush. And the two colors that I chose, my two greens that I chose are Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent. So these colors are gonna be retiring at the uh, end of this annual catalog. So I'm gonna start with the Soft Succulent and I'm gonna start with the Bigger Leaf. Okay, so this. So I don't want to overlap my flowers, right? So I want to see this, line this up just like that. I'm going to use my lighter green. So I'm using a lighter green first on the bigger leaf. And there's instructions with these. So you don't, if you, you can always watch the video while you're making them, but if you don't want to, you can read the instructions that come with the masks. Okay, so now I'm gonna close this one and open this one. So now I have Evening Evergreen. And I'm gonna lay this over this. Now this is a little tricky because this is like the veining. So if you just line it up with the paper, your cardstock, it'll pretty much work for you. I'm gonna use my darker green, dark green. I don't have one for every color, I don't know. I have like, mm, maybe like 15. I have, you know, light green, dark green, light pink, dark pink, red. And then I go into like my orange, my yellows. This is gonna be so cute. Okay, so I am done. And the cool thing is if you wanna look at it, you can kind of lift it up and look at it and lay it back down if you want. So there you go. Close these up. Okay, so there is my finished flower and leaves. Now it needs, um, it does need a sentiment. I'm not gonna layer on it. I'm just gonna stamp a sentiment. And the one I chose is wishing for, wishes for a beautiful birthday. And this is from Frame Florets. This was the stamp set that was available early in November and carried over, I think, was it November or December? It was November. Carried over. It had the paper that's no longer available, but love this. And now it's in the mini catalog. So I'm just going to stamp this in black. And you don't want to mess this up, right? I mean, I guess if you did, you could layer a piece of cardstock over it, but we hope we don't mess it up. Oh, so pretty. All right. Now... I'm just gonna layer this on some cardstock. And I find that if you layer a little edge on black, it just looks so rich and so beautiful. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this is just slightly bigger than five and by three and three fourths. So I have this tiny edge. 
And then I chose soft succulent for my card base. So I'm just gonna fold this in half. And I could pop this up, but I don't need to. Making this a simple card with a nice edge. Okay, now if I wanted to, I could add some, you know, bling. I could add some of these. These would be really cute on here, some of these. Or we have some of the, um, the little pearls that are carried over from the mini catalog. Okay, so I've got one here that's almost done, and then I have this one. So you could add these, but I don't know if I really want to. I think I just want to keep it super simple. And so I'm going to show you my other card that I made earlier. Very, very similar, but with different colors. Okay, so this one I used um, Poppy Parade. I used Flirty Flamingo for the flower. And then I came back with Pear Pizzazz and Garden Green for the leaves. I wasn't too thrilled with these colors together. So I think if I would have, were to do this again, I would not pick Garden Green. I would pick Pear Pizzazz and Old Olive. But it's fine. And do you see how this perfectly lines up and it just... Oh, just so beautiful. And I used a different sentiment on this one. So they could both be birthday cards. That's what I send the most of. All right, let's look at some other cards that I've been working on. So speaking of the um, masks, there are five masks in the pack. So we used four of them today, right? But that left that extra one. And the extra one is very cute. It's this one. And when I looked at it at first, I was like, oh, I don't know. But if you if you do it this way and then this way in two different colors, you get this background. So I, I went ahead and used the uh, frame florets uh, dies and the frame floret stamps. But then you can see that what I used for the background was the mask. Okay, so there was another idea for you. And then also I've been working on cards. I'm just uh, going to show these to you real quick. You've seen these in the past probably. This one is made with the frame florets, right? Um, and this one has been a so popular card. Um, oops. <laughs> I, uh, I made this on YouTube and a video, and it's been very popular. So this stamp set is the, it's called uh, Beautifully Happy stamp set. This is a $100 celebration stamp set. And you get, oh, I love that. All right. I've also been um, stamping with the, uh, it's going to be a Dainty Delight. I made this card. So this is a Dainty Delight stamp and then die. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. So I went ahead and colored that with uh, Petal Pink, a little bit of Pool Party and some Mint Macaron and popped it up. And these little butterflies are still current, so those are available. And so is this pink uh, petal pink ribbon. This is like felt. It's just mm, delightful. And then I had this one, simple, super simple card. Could be anything card. This could be a, a graduation card or you know, just thinking of you if somebody's having a hard time. And then this one's going to be on video tomorrow, I think. A little, little sneak peek here. This one is Love Cats. Okay, so love this little stamp set. Um, and this is a card we made at club, my club last month. And this is also using the, oh, such a test. Um, Dainty Delight. Okay, so it's a little fun fold card. Um, and then this one's coming up also. I'm just going to show you real quick. This is an Easter card. I know, crazy, but I love it. And um, it's a little early for Easter, but isn't he cute? So there's a bunch of cards I've made with um, products, new products. I hope you enjoyed it. And I just want to mention one last thing, and it's about my card kit. So uh, the card kit went live today. Okay, I've been getting a few orders for it. Don't know for sure. I think I'm um, going to limit it to maybe 10 um, a lot of cutting on my part. So these are the cards. That one. This one. This one. Um, and then you get all the 
right? You get the you get two of each, so you get all the envelopes and all the product cut for you, ribbons included, all the things are included. Um, the stamp set is Dainty Delight, so you get this stamp set included in the kit. Okay, and if you want to purchase the dies, you can. People are purchasing them, actually. Um, but every, if you don't want to, everything will be die cut for you that you need to make the six cards. We also have the instructions. So we have written instructions for each card. Okay, and there'll be a video up too. So there'll be written instructions for all three versions. So, oh, and I should mention, you're going to get a pack of opaque adhesive back gems. Brand new, not a used one. So you'll get a brand new one of these. So for $60, you get the full kit, you get all the products, instructions, everything you need. Okay, so um, I hope that you're interested in the card kit. I'm planning to do it every month. See how it goes. Um, if you live out of town, no problem. You just add some shipping, $9.95 for shipping, and that can be um, shipped to you. If you live locally, you don't have to pay the shipping. We'll get it to you. So um, what else? I have all this stuff in front of me, all these stamp sets I want to show you, and I want to just go crazy with it. I am going to spread it out and not just overwhelm you all at once. Okay, so thanks for watching today. I'm Travis Bossler. I live in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I appreciate you watching my videos. If you like them, please like, share, and uh, that'll encourage more people to watch. So thanks for watching today, and have a great week. Bye.